Hello, everybody. My name is Julien Atin. I'm a research engineer at the Orange Company, and I'm a blockchain enthusiast. First of all, I will explain why we've uh, chose to build a reference model and how we build this model before explaining exactly how it works and what we hope to do right now and in the future with this model. We, when we look at the state of the art, we see that most of the papers focused on blockchain technology modeling, especially on the technical aspect, both the um, features of it, or sometimes the businesses that are maybe a good opportunity for a blockchain, but not so many people um, focus on what the actors can, um, what role can the actors place inside this business. And we decided to um, have a look at it. If we look at classical applications that are off chain, we have an ecosystem with hosting company, developers, build tools, language. And if we um, look at what uh, role a company is playing inside this ecosystem, we could also understand its business model. In blockchain, there is not many work on it. And so um, we decided inside a DLT ecosystem to understand what role a company could play. And often it will permit to answer to the question, should I mine, should I be a validate? Should I validate some transactions? Should I construct my own blockchain? Should I join a public blockchain? Should I join a consortium? So to build the model, we We've done an analysis of nine different DLTs, um, including Bitcoin, of course, but also EOS, Ethereum, Lisk, Ledger, Counterparty. And we focus on the life cycle of decentralized application. The model is, um, so in the center, we have the um, decentralized application. And on the top of it, we have the DLT card owner. And we see that there is strong link between the, of course, DLT card owner, the one who creates the protocol and the one who builds the tools to develop application, those who will own the tools and those who will validate. The uh, DLT card owner, uh, for instance, it could be um, Ethereum or any other uh, foundation that uh, produce the protocol, uh, provide the virtual machine, the um, assembly language, and so on. And uh, it's very important because, um, yeah, and we'll see it's often a foundation or it's a big company often, and um, it maintains the code. And also, it is the one who could manage incentives for the founders. So it is the one who established trust inside the blockchain. We then have the validator in sense. And of course, it's a key role because it validates transaction. It could be um, it could be done using any algorithm, proof of work, proof of stake, or any other mechanism. And we have a DAP instance. Um, we very focus on the technical aspect inside our model. We do not include all the off-chain aspects that could go on with a DAP. And we focus on the byte code um, that is holding inside the application. And of course, it depends always on a validator to be published. The byte code. Um, for those that are maybe not information, is the um, code that is able to be interpreted, to be executed by a computer, so by or blockchain in this case. Some example, uh, EPSC on EOS or Uniswap or Ethereum that are famous application. We then have uh, the utility provider. 
uh, in order in our ecosystem to build um, application, we need to have the tools to do it. For instance, we have Parity for Ethereum, which is famous, and that is done by the, by the Parity Foundation, but you also have the um, tools made directly by the Ethereum Foundation. Or also Azaris.io, that is an application developer and that needed its own tools that develop also has a chasm tool for EOS because he wanted to have his own tool to develop his product. So I think um, it is um, like in common development, we see the kind of the same role that are played by actors for those that build tools, those that develop and those that own the application. Uh, I took the example as um, DAP owner of Societe Generale, which is a French bank that recently published some uh, DAP on the Ethereum public network, but there is uh, plenty of uh, DAP owner, of course. And it is, the also, it is also the business owner. And of course, uh, in our model, the DAP consumer, that um, is the end user of the application. It could execute function, it could read the result inside, inside uh, our chain. And it could also be, uh, it's not necessarily human. It could also be another DAP or an off-chain application. Okay, so as a resume, I have ten, five minutes, okay. As a resume, we uh, can see that um, most of the time, uh, foundation are behind the uh, protocol. And so we find foundation as DLT code owner. And often, um, the first uh, tools provided to work on the blockchain are made by also the same uh, actor, I mean the DLT code owner, but on the, major, um, on the majority of them, um, anyone has developed um, code and has developed tools to work on it. Um, um, there is a huge difference really in the um, DLT we have looked at. It's that part of them are consortium uh, blockchain and in consortium blockchain, it's always the company that is behind. So uh, it asks the question of the uh, centralization of power inside the blockchain. Whereas in foundation, this question is less efficient, of course. Um, in conclusion, what this model will be used for is to um, be a tool for a practitioner who want to choose a role and a business model for the solution. And we are currently um, trying to implement it uh, inside a simulation using multi-agent in order to ask uh, two simple questions is, and those two questions are, which DLT is suitable for my DAP? Because um, of course, if you publish on multiple chain you will have costs associated to it and we want to measure if this cost is uh, superior to the profit to the benefits you will have with your application and also because um, some chain and we are thinking of a small chain for the moment um, that are nearly to be created or that we would like to create uh, could be weak or could be um, could not uh, stay long in the time and um, maybe we could um, diminish the risk of losing our application by publishing it on multiple DLT so this is the current question we are trying to answer with it um, thank you for your attention and I'd be pleased to answer to your question <laughs>